The VET Toolbox is basically a project that was funded to bring skills and enterprise development, but mainly skills development around European investments in Africa. Our access to clean energy stands at 57%, with 19% connected to the grid, and the majority, which is 38%, is from renewables uh, through off-grids, mini-grids, solar home systems. And we are still running to catch up with the 47% of the population so that we are able to achieve access, access for all. The goal is to build a workforce, a pool of competent labor around specific investments. So in Uganda, we decided to focus on renewable energy. And a lot of how that's done is by off-grid photovoltaic systems called mini-grids. Skills development is probably the most important missing link because the potential is here. But even where we have had technology deployed, because of lack of skills to operate and maintain, that brings down even consumer confidence. So the best intervention at this stage would be to come up with a robust arrangement to build capacity. So this is a really big need for adequately trained and qualified technicians, both to install solar home systems, but to also maintain photovoltaic mini-grids in the country, because the generation capacity is predicted to rise really steeply over the next five to 10 years. And there are currently very, very few certified technicians. The Sendea Association, we are the ones implementing the project on ground, covering the foundational course, the PV solar systems for technicians, and also operational maintenance of solar mini grids. I find it something that caught my attention, that caught the whole of me to put myself in this training and in the near future to have something I'll add value to my country or to these areas that really, really need power. The good part of this training is that it has been designed in such a way that uh, every topic of the training has a practical. Practical has, has been given more priority because we wanted to produce technicians who are going to be understanding a little bit more about what they are dealing with than, than just the theory part of it. So one of the key deliverables, one of the key outputs of this project was developing advanced operations and maintenance curriculum um, to be used by our partner institutions, the partner vocational training institutions. And this is really important for project sustainability um, because once the project wraps up, this will be curriculum that tr uh, we've trained trainers on and the trainers are able to train trainees on. So it's a really, really important deliverable and we're in the process of getting that um, accredited and certified by the Directorate of in Industrial Trade, which is the DIT. And the certification is very important because uh, if you don't have a certificate, then we would not really know that uh, you are really skilled and therefore placing you in the world of work becomes difficult. But if you have a certificate, the bargaining power in terms of employment and also income will be higher. We value standards and we use the industry, the people, the practitioners in industry to develop these standards together with the training institution. I think it's really important to have these public-private dialogues that result in policy recommendations. Addressing investor needs um, and addressing investor concerns as well to create an ecosystem that's uh, conducive for foreign investment. So you can see the potential if we mapped ourselves against other global players that then would give us support to develop these resources together and be able to transform this uh, country but also contribute to the global good. You can see Kids are able to go to school, are able to read. So the benefit is big and it has a chain of it. Previously, you would come into a community and the shops are counted. Right now, shops are coming in and expanding every other day. There has been like a very significant difference or improvement in our business in terms of the uh, appliances, the extra appliances that she's selling. With this new connection, like there is more demand from the uh, community. 
this is something you can learn and say, at least if a company has not hired me, I can start up something. We are going to live now with something that we can start with. And that is a skill that it will never leave you.